Hey, it's Terry Gorry, and this is the Irish Law and Small Business Podcast. There's a report in the Irish Times there today. Uh, that's an article, Judge Bemoans Rash of Strikingly Similar Court Cases by Lay Litigants That Make Absolutely No Sense. Judgments have concluded this sort of claim is frivolous, vexatious, bound to fail and an abuse of process. I made a video in 2019 about fake law and pseudo lawyers giving false hope and increasing the costs for debtors. I'll put a link up here for that video on my YouTube channel. But in 2023, May 2023, a High Court case has criticised a rash of strikingly similar court cases brought by lay litigants that make absolutely no sense legally. They are incoherent. Mr Justice Brian O'Moore said that the actions brought increasingly in recent years claim a plaintiff is protected under the Constitution and the Treaty of Europe from all court summonses and orders. This, of course, if you occupy the real world, is absolute nonsense. A number of recent judgments from the High Court have concluded this sort of claim is frivolous, vexatious, bound to fail and an abuse of process. The judge regretted that people peddling this form of case to litigants without professional legal representation have, quote, not yet made themselves or themselves been made accountable for the pointless legal costs and expense which their activities have generated. These are the so-called, or what I describe as the pseudo-lawyers and fake lawyers uh, peddling false hope to individuals who are weighed down with debt. The judge expressed uh, or referred to another judge, Justice Eileen Roberts, who said so much court and judicial time has been taken up dealing with what are essentially the same legal arguments advanced by parties over and over again, even though not a single case has been or indeed could be successful on these points. It's worth saying that again. Not a single case has been or indeed could be successful on these points. Mr Justice O'Moore previously dismissed an incoherent claim of this nature brought by racehorse trainer Anthony Mullins of uh, Goran County Kilkenny against debt firm Everyday Finance DAC and Receiver. The claims against the state defendants remained. Mr Mullins wanted €5 million Euros damages and a declaration his constitutional rights have been denied due to him being the victim of a court order, the judge said. The judge or the action was struck out against every day and the receiver as frivolous and vexatious and as not disclosing any cause of action known to law. The ill effects of a pressurised court system is felt predominantly by other litigants, including individuals and businesses who have to wait lengthy periods of time for their cases to be heard. In a recent ju- judgment, he dismissed Richard O'Hara's action against debt firm Start Mortgages DAC. Mr O'Hara from Kilkenny was seeking damages of €2 million Euros and a declaration his constitutional rights have been denied. His case remains against Ireland, the Attorney General, the Minister for Justice and Equality and a named individual. Start Mortgage's strikeout motion was grounded on an affidavit of a solicitor who said Mr O'Hara's case was a retaliatory attack against her client for the purpose of causing embarrassment to the company. The judge said O'Hara responded by making completely groundless allegations claiming the solicitor was guilty of perjury and treason. Mr Justice O'Moore said the case against Start Mortgages was an abuse of process and failed to disclose any reasonable cause of action. As I said at the outset, I made a video about fake law and pseudo-lawyers peddling nonsense legal arguments, or so-called legal arguments, even though they're not legal arguments at all, back in 2019. I will put a link on my YouTube channel up here to the video. You can have a look at it. Nothing much has changed. The fact is... 
the debtors still have the debt and they have increasing costs and uh, some lay litigants now are bogging down the system and uh, making it very difficult for other people to access the courts and access justice and so on. And the reason is because these lay litigant claims, these lay litigant litigants bringing frivolous, vexatious uh, claims that are basically bound to fail, are an abuse of process, are not advancing any claims known to law and are essentially incoherent from a legal perspective. Hope you find this video useful. If you do, I would appreciate if you gave it the thumbs up down below. Thanks a lot.